I often get the question if I've ever been bitten by a shark. Actually, I did get nailed by an 18-foot. Just kidding, I've never in my life been hit by a shark. I've had my cameras bitten, plenty of GoPros lost, the big housings mouthed, but I've never been bitten by a great white shark or any shark. You know, I became a wildlife filmmaker completely by accident. I actually wanted to be a marine biologist. I studied marine biology in college. But when I got into the real world, I realized I was a better cameraman than I was a researcher or a scientist. So I transitioned into filmmaking, and now I get to work with some of the top scientists around the world studying the coolest shark behavior on the planet. So for me, I'm a cinema scientist. I use cameras and technology to illustrate research and you know different ways to understand science. People often ask me how I got involved with Shark Week for the first time. Well, I've been watching it since I was small, a little kid. Blew my mind the first time I saw great white sharks on television, especially Air Jaws. But the first opportunity that I had to actually be involved with Shark Week officially was back in 2005, I believe, with Jeff Kerr in South Africa. He put me in the credits of Monster Man, where I was playing my Great White Shark song, which is a song about great white sharks. That's my claim to fame, my very first ever Shark Week appearance. And from there, it just went pretty much to the moon. I've worked on 100 plus different Shark Week films, been able to travel all around the world and study amazing behaviors, capture them on film, inspire other people, and it's been a dream come true ever since. Thank you, Jeff Kerr. <laughs> What's the scariest thing that's ever happened to me, the closest encounter? It's actually hard to really sort of compile it all over the years, but probably one of the scariest was in New Zealand, actually once again with Jeff Kerr, on a night dive on the bottom inside of a cage. I've never felt that afraid inside the cage with great white sharks. These sharks were zoned in on my lights. It was like a deer in the headlights. They kept ramming the cage. They kept trying to get inside. I don't think they were trying to eat me, but if they did get inside, they might have. So I was sketched out. We had to pull the cage closed. We got a few shots. My buddy Kenna saying multiple sharks, multiple sharks. It was complete chaos. And I won't lie. It was one of the only times in my life that I was actually very afraid that things were going to go sideways quickly. If I was a shark, what species would I be and why? I'd probably be like maybe a little spiny dogfish, one of those little smooth hounds. Just kidding. Of course, I would be a great white shark because my favorite shark in the entire world. They're like superhero sharks. There's no other shark that can compare. There's great white sharks and then all the other sharks down here. The thing that fascinates me the most about great white sharks is their personalities. All other shark species that I've encountered, aside from maybe tiger sharks, Great Whites have the most charismatic personalities. They're super distinct, they're super individuals. Some are super shy, some are very aggressive, some are curious. Whereas other schooling species like reef sharks, hammerheads, these other ones, they all kind of act with this group mentality where Great Whites stand alone as individuals. And to me, sharks with personalities is, is like people with personalities. They're all unique and it makes for really challenging and interesting filmmaking. It's important to study the behavior of sharks because the more we know about them, the more we can keep ourselves safe when we're interacting with them, when we're not trying to interact with them, when they're trying to use the waters for recreational purposes. And just understanding the apex predators of our oceans is key to us understanding the entire planet because people often say, oh, why should I care about sharks? Why should I care about the ocean? I live inland. I don't live anywhere near the ocean. It has nothing to do with me. Listen, if you breathe oxygen, you breathe air, you should care about the ocean because 70 plus percent of the oxygen we breathe comes from the ocean no matter where you live. So if you're human, you should care about the ocean, care about shark behavior, and care about learning more about this incredible planet.